A lot of people have asked me, what does it mean when a chicken goes broody? Ordinarily, a chicken who's not broody will lay an egg and get up. A broody chicken will get all fluffy and complain, and sometimes they will peck you. See? No, that's not your egg. That's her egg. No, broody chickens very rarely leave the coop. They're going to sit there for three weeks. They'll get up once or twice a day to get some water and maybe eat a little bit. And when a broody chicken leaves the nest, do you have something to say? And when a broody chicken leaves the nest, the other chickens will yell at her and tell her to get back in the nest. So these two are co-parenting. The light gray one has been laying on two eggs for a little over two weeks, and the dark one decided that she wanted to be a mama too, so she stole one of the eggs. And now they are laying on one egg each. And I'm letting that happen because the black one, the one who is trying to peck me, is actually going to be a little bit better mother because she's more defensive, whereas the little gray one is a super sweetheart and she would never peck me. But that's not necessarily good when it comes to being a, an effective mama. She's tucking the egg back in. And in less than a week, these two should be emerging from the coop with one baby each, we hope. Do you guys have anything to say? Okay, so that's another sign of a broody chicken. They try to look really big and fierce. <laughs> Unfortunately, she only looks cute. All right, girls, I'll see you in a little bit. In order to solve the problem of three mamas, and one chick. I separated them. She won't even let me get the water dish. And I took the most protective mother and I put them together so that they can bond and I can make sure she's gonna take good care of it. When I'm sure they've bonded, I will let them out into the big coop again. So I'm hoping, considering how much work this little baby was, that it's a girl. These girls are each sitting on ice packs because the chick hatched and they didn't stop the broody. So I'm going to try to cool them down because it's a hormonal change and the chest gets really hot. And if I can cool the chest down enough, then maybe that will stop the broody. We can only hope. The thing about broody chickens is every time they leave the coop, Everybody else chases them back in, and George has been one of the most involved roosters in the broody process. He checks on them, and he yells at them when they come out. He's like, get back in there and make me some babies.